I was hoping to pivot back to the book and maybe wonder a little bit about how AI is integrated, if at all, into the rest of the book. If you guys are, are talking about it as a force multiplier or if you're introducing tools uh, that leverage LLMs in any way like that. how? Because it does say, it says a comprehensive guide to red teaming and bug bounty hunting in an AI-driven world. So are you focusing on attack paths, targeting LLMs, or like I said, are you looking at them from like a force multiplier perspective? How can you leverage this to increase your efficiency and efficacy? No, that's a great question. Uh, and I always go back to, uh, let's think about like the early days of uh, like Google, right? Or even like Wikipedia, right? Mm -hmm. Of like, hey, here's a new tool. How do you leverage this tool, yeah. right? Not as like a replacement for you. And that's one of the biggest things with AI as we went through this book. Uh, in a lot of the different sections, we just had ways to leverage AI uh, to make yourself more effective. Yeah. I think we talked a little bit earlier about writing code, uh, utilizing AI, yeah. different IDE integrated uh, solutions. Again, if you need to come up with that payload, it might not exist. And you don't want to spend, that's true. you know, Saves a lot of time. Learning. And the more you use it, the more you understand how to interact with some of those prompts so that you don't hit some of those safeguards yeah. uh, so that you can get that kind True. of malicious code that you really want. Yeah, uh, yeah.